not making uh, homemade ice cream, leave it to Wolfgang Puck. This is my gotta have it. Now, just keep in mind, he modeled this technology after the $25,000 professional ice cream makers that he has at Spago. That's where this whole concept came from. So ice cream maker, I have purchased them at upwards of $299. I think when we first had this on the air, it was $249. But what Wolfgang is doing for us right now, first full airing and his last show of our big cooking event, it's not a $299 or a $249 or even a 199 which is where we introduced this technology at 169.99 five flexible payments that means interest free payments of a little over $30 on your credit card 34 in this change uh, in this case and then free shipping you choose it in the red you choose it in the white or you choose it in this great mint. You will get this great um, little uh, insert. Now remember, you're not using rock salt. You're not, you know, doing a little hand crank. You're not putting that big um, cooler in the freezer to freeze overnight because this has a unique micro or chip technology. There's your paddle. You even get a spatula and a recipe booklet. But I want you to see this animation real quickly before Wolfgang comes out. It's a 2.1 pint, which I think is perfect, but this is what makes it critical these thermoelectric cooling chips so that's what's chilling your ingredients so in an hour you're getting ice cream so you don't have to pre-freeze and remember that means you can you're doing all natural ingredients you can do your favorite flavored coffee you know mix you could use cream you're not using artificial ingredients and then you can put it on either the hard setting or the soft ice cream the texture is the same as the ice cream makers that he uses for tens of thousands of dollars at spago and i gotta tell you it is one of my favorite things in my kitchen because i use it for granitas you could do frozen daiquiris you could do frozen margaritas for the summer and and springtime season you could do fruit sorbets and trick the kids into eating fruit but now we all scream for ice cream every single day one other quick reminder though ask about Marion Marion Getz is of course is Wolfgang's right hand woman in the kitchen we have her ice cream cookbook and no coding you're going to find so many delicious delectable launching off points in terms of ideas on how to put this into action but Wolfgang Puck, I have to defer to you. You know it's a pleasure. You know how much I love you, you living legend. But you've got a mean sweet tooth. You like ice cream, don't you? I love ice cream. You know, our restaurant in Orlando, the Wolfgang Puck Fine Grill in Orlando, I built a big ice cream kitchen, really, where we make 20 different flavors. And, you know, people line up because it's hot and humid. But, you know, ice cream is good any time of the year. You can eat it in the wintertime, in the summertime, whenever you want, because it's always a great dessert. So for me, ice cream is amazing. I love sorbets naturally because it's less calories, so you can use orange juice, pineapple juice, grapefruit juice, all the berries and everything. If you buy too many berries, they start to get a little mushy. Bring them to a boil, maybe a little sugar, and you're done. And then... You can serve it in a little scoop and you're done. Look at me here. See that? Look at this ice cream here. Wow, oh, look wow. at it. This is lemon. All right. Now, if you buy our little spoons here, you can get, I'm gonna just, for the moment of speed, put two scoops right in here. Now, you can make that anytime you want and put the ice cream in your freezer. And look what I do. Put a few berries on top, just like that, and you have dessert. And then I know what you're going to do. Just like I do, you're going to say, let me taste it. Mm. This is amazing. You know, you won't believe the flavor of really good ice cream. And then naturally, we have also the scone. You can buy some or bake some at home. Let me take my thing out here. Okay, clean it up. Don't throw it away. All right. And look at that. Here, an ice cream scone 
just like in a restaurant or in an ice cream bar. Mmm. And the Jenna. thing, you're in complete control. In fact, Marion gets, mm. you know what, Marion, I'm going to try to find, um, I actually did Marion's cotton candy uh, recipe. And I'll see if I can't find that to repost that. But Marion, the thing is, when whether you've got grandkids or not, the ice cream is really not a, a, a bad treat if you do it yourself. I mean, if you just read a random list of ingredients in the ice cream carton, you know, expensive brand, you know, Ben and whoever from the store, it's not the simple ingredients that you can do in the ease and the convenience of your home. And you make, you he takes all the guesswork out of it. So Marion, thank you. I'm always anxious to see what you've got going on in your kitchen there, my friend. Oh, thank you, Shannon. It's so good to see you. And you know what, Wolfgang is right. He always tells us, Real ingredients, cook at home, and it's better for your health, even if it is an indulgent treat. So I agree with you. You can pronounce milk, sugar, or whatever sweetener you want, um, a little bit of vanilla, and then whatever flavor, you've got ice cream. So it's really easy. And I love the technology for this guy, because using the two chips, it's slower to make than maybe some of the traditional ice cream makers that are out there. But slower is better. Better. Fast isn't always great. When you turn it slowly, it's so beautifully creamy. It has a different texture, so worth it. I absolutely love this little guy. Well, and you know what? You will too. Here's the thing though. Um, they are going. I'll just tell you that. We've been waiting for this to come back. And remember, there's no rock salt. There's no churning. There's no cranking. You could do something as simple as buying your favorite flavored creamer. Pumpkin spice season is always in, in season. Or you could make uh, eggnog ice cream. I did cotton, your cotton candy recipe in this, Marion. And no kidding, whether you're doing fruit sorbets or whether you're buying one one of those margarita mixes, or you're doing frozen drinks in this, whether you're doing adult ice cream or kid-friendly or fun. The thing for me, Marion, and for Wolfgang, um, is unlike when I used to have to freeze those big carafes, and that takes out a lot of real estate in my uh, freezer, you're doing one batch. And I like almost every, I think I like every flavor ice cream that is available and probably some that I haven't even discovered yet. So <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, because you do not, because it uses that chipset technology, I don't have to worry about, oh man, now I gotta wait another 24 hours before I, I, I do another batch. So you can have some fun and create a lot of different ice creams and desserts, even in the span of, of one evening, can't you? You know, just get over thinking that it needs to be something fast and remember that slower is better in this case because you're exactly right, Shannon. You can make batch after batch without letting it cool, without refreezing anything. In fact, if I make the ice cream about three hours out and we're not ready to eat for another hour, you know what you get to do that's so cool and you won't hurt the machine? You gotta come back and push the button again and turn it right back on. It turns back right again and stays on. It is the most friendly machine. I love it and it's gonna make people happy. Nothing in the world makes people as happy as ice cream. I promise you, at the restaurant, I spent hours, days sometimes making the fanciest desserts. You know what always sold the best? Ice cream. Absolutely. I don't know if there's time to show that videotape one more time uh, before they shoo me along, but I just, I, I hope you understand. Wolfgang is really known for his appliances here at HSN because he models them after what he uses in his restaurants. This uses thermoelectric chips, and that's why you don't have to worry about rock salt or freezing. So you can make batch after batch after batch with it in an hour or a little better than an hour. You've got homemade ice cream. The ingredients are as simple as whatever is in your refrigerator right now, or even using some of your favorite drink mixes. I mean, you think about even some of the slushies and the things that the kids like, if they like those blue drinks, those cherry cola drinks, whatever it might be, you can do those. You can do sorbets, you can do granitas. Obviously, you could do gelatos, you could do, you know, sweet or savory. I, I make a green tea ice cream. I make an olive oil ice cream with mine. So you're really only limited to your imagination, but when you try it, it is an HSN exclusive 
The white is finally back in stock. We are delighted because that actually, I think, sold out in the first one or two airings when this debuted at HSN. We have the red and then we have the mint. And for all intents and purposes, this really replicates pretty, it really more or less a today's special price. We're also going to do free shipping, which is a big deal because we were um, very selective on that, those free shipping promotions for this big event. Also falls under the five pay flex pay category along with that 30-day return policy. Wolf, I know we're almost out of time, but are, are you enjoying more dessert out there? Show the, I sh let me show you how easy it is. So that's the canister. You put the canister right in here. See, snugly, put whatever it is. I'm making orange ice cream here. Put it right in here, and then all you have to do is put the top on. See that? And it actually said this is the front here, and then you turn it on, and that's it. All right. All right. Okay, perfect. And that's it. So simple, so easy. It is indeed, and they are going for sure. We have hundreds of you in the various forms of ordering. Don't forget, we are Facebooking live. Uh, hopefully, I'm trying to get shout outs to everybody because I so appreciate our food, uh, our Friday food crowd. Hey, you will, someone will win a $25 gift card at the end of this um, three hour block. Hey, just wanted to remind you about the grill though.